Eddie P, this is your life. Ed, this is a little uh, tape I put together, some slides and photos, and some video of your life as Eddie P. Uh, it's kind of a little belated birthday present, but I hope you enjoy it. Edward Eric Pangrel was born January 26, 1954, to Marcella Hinsey and Arnold Pangrel in Rush City, Minnesota. Marcy and Arnie were thrilled to have another boy to add to their family. They already had a daughter, Judy, and a son, Dale. So with Eddie coming along, this completed a family of uh, three. Ed was such a butterball. He had the pudgiest little cheeks. And what a voice. We knew from the time he uh, started bellering for his uh, for his food that um, he'd uh, go a long ways with that voice of his. Oh, this is the whole family. Looks like it must be a Christmas time. I'd say in the 1950s sometime, probably 55, 56. And it looks like it was taken at Grandma Pangirl's place. Oh, there's Dale and Ed. Weren't they cute little tykes? Must have gotten some new PJs for Christmas, it looks like. Here's the three of us. There's Dale and Judy and little Ed. It looks like I was taken at the house in West Rock. This is one of Eddie. It looks like he's one of the dead-end kids or something. Well, it looks like he started early playing the guitar. Looks like this must be a birthday party or something. Oh, yeah, it looks like here's another picture of the birthday party. Looks like the Mortensen twins, and there's Kathy, and looks like that must be Vicky and me. Well, there you are, Ed. Uh, looks like he must have got a new rifle set for Christmas. There's Sandy back there in the corner. Oh, there's Dale and Ed. Looks like must be all dressed up for Sunday. Well, here's all three of us. Uh, Dale and Ed got matching cowboy outfits. Okay, Ed, this is you in about third grade. Kind of look like Mickey there. Okay, this is about fourth grade. This is you, and I believe this is your confirmation picture. Okay, we're going to jump way up to, now this is about ninth grade. This is probably about tenth grade, maybe. Okay, uh, this is your senior class picture. 1972 is when you graduated. This is about 1968. Uh, looks like the thinker. Here's Eddie and I. Must be doing the twist or something. Well, here he must be practicing the guitar. Here's Eddie and uh, Dewey Laterally had some pet bears at that time. Looks like that bear is taking a chunk of cloth off of him. Here's Ed. Uh, must be having a party in the garage. It's all right, Earhart and Dad. About 1968. Here's Grandma Hinsey and Ed and Dale and Uncle Dutch. Looks like he must be having dinner at uh, Grandma Pangirl's house. Well, there's Dale and Ed and Vicky. I think this was the year Vicky was back for my graduation. Yeah, we must have went out to eat at Wisconsin at Minerva's Marina. There's Vicki and Eddie showing off as usual. Oh, there's me and Dale and Ed. Oh, there's Eddie and that little 
Minnesota Gopher he made for Vicky that time to bring back to Oregon. As long as Ed playing the fiddle. And there's our old homestead, almost buried in the snow one winter. And there's Eddie. There's Christmas time. Well, 1968 or so. This is one of the Weasel Gang reunions we had at the town hall one year, about 69. Here's Eddie. I think he's about ready to let those ducks loose that he had raised for FAA, I believe. Here goes the little ducks. Looks like Butch must have had a car that year in the demolition derby. At least that's where it looks like it belongs. Yeah, it looks like it was sponsored by the Pangro Brothers. Looks like everybody's playing cards. There's Freddie Pangro in the background. There's Sandy and Dad and there's Eddie. Well, looks like we're having a little jam session here. Uh, too bad we didn't keep going. We could have been another Jackson 5 or part of the Osmonds or something. And here's Dale and Ed practicing. Although if we would have been an Osmond family or Jackson, part of the Jackson family, we probably would have the problems that they have. We look so serious on this one, like we're really concentrating. Well, here's one of Eddie's first uh, bands. I think this was one of his loud rock bands. And Corey Hawkinson was in this one, too. Yeah, I don't know if that's Dirk Larson. Almost looks like him in the background, and Corey and Ed. Yeah, here's another shot of him. Here's another there of their jam sessions. Uh, hail, hail, the gang's all here, it looks like. Bunch of characters. Oh, this is really cute. Uh, one of Ed's first bands uh, is Linda Okeson and Linda Sharmer. I almost forgot she used to play with them for a while. And here's the Twilighters. Ed's first First big band, I would say. Well, here's Ed. Looks like he's practicing his guitar. And there's another shot of him practicing his guitar. Oh, well, there's Ed's instruments. There's Ed, and let's say he's holding Christopher. Hard to believe Christopher is 21 now. Ed looks pretty young there himself. Okay, it looks like this is about 1972. This is the plane that the class of 72 from Pine City High School is going to board. I believe they went to Colorado. There's some of Ed's buds on the plane. I think that's a Koja Shack, I think. Oh, and there's uh, Rudy Youngbauer. Oh, and there's Joe Smetna. Looks like the guys are waiting for the bus to take off. There's Ed. There's a bunch of Ed's old friends. Hopefully that's soda pop, right Ed? There's some more of his friends on the trip. Oh, Ed must have been happy about something. There's another shot of ya. There's all the guys up on the mountains.
And some more. This is kind of a cool picture of you sitting up there on that mountain. Okay, this is, I think this is a Stefan kid. Graduation picture. There's Ed. There's you with your godparents, Herman and Lucille. There's you and Grandma Hinsey. Boy, she used to be a lot of fun. There's you and Grandma Pangrel. And there's both grandmas with you. Well, you and grandma look like you're gonna go for a bike ride, I guess, or something. There's you and grandma again. There's you and you in my old car. There's you again. Must have been having a party in the garage. Looks like you're playing there. There's Butchie Rut. There's Butch and looks like the court girls and Ed and some of Bernard's girls also. Here's you and Randy playing. Must have been having some kind of party in the garage. There's Richard. Looks like that's uh, Willis Silver's name on his uh, chaparrales and the whole band that you used to play with. There's Davy Cook. There's Davy playing. There's Willis. Willis again. There's Willis. There's Eddie. I think him and Dale were on there. We're gonna go on their trip to Florida. Here we are with the little mice. There's Dale and Ed. There's Eddie. And they there again. It's outside Marine World or something. There's Ed. Looked like Ed must have shot a deer that year or something. There's Eddie. Oh, this is really you, Ed, I tell ya. Kinda look like me. I guess we could pass for sisters.
What a pause. Looks like you must have been going on a bike trip. Oh, there's Christopher and Eddie. Must be when you were staying with us, Ed. Might have been some of that might have been taken the spring in or something. There's Butchie Rut. This is Mom and Dad's 25th wedding anniversary. Ed and Sandy and Art. And I think that's Dad on the side there. Looks like he got cut off a little bit. The end. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed this film, Ed. As much as I enjoyed making it. It was kind of fun. Um, happy 39th birthday and many, many more.